And uh, we take our seat in Jesus' name. Uh, choir, thank you so much for, you know, um, the ministry, the anointed ministry. The Lord bless you in a supernatural way. In Jesus' mighty name. And to God be the glory. I believe your heart is ready to receive from the Lord. Your level of expectation determines your level of reception. How much you expect God to move in your life. In the same measure that God will move into your life. In Jesus' mighty name. I don't like that kind of clapping where, you know, as if you didn't believe. Praise God. You see, you see the secret of God's manifestation in your life is determined by your level of faith which is your expectation your level of faith will always determine how much God will work in your life if you come following the rest in the, in the church you will follow the rest and go back home the same if you come you to single yourself like a woman who touched on Jesus, she went through the crowd and touched on Jesus personally. And the Bible said, then virtue went out from Jesus. We touched we her. And instantly, her blood flow dried up. She had faith. She didn't care many people on Jesus. She went through the crowd and touched Jesus personally. You must have your personal touch, your own personal faith. No, it's what can it help it you tonight. 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 But you see, she began to open up for a miracle before even she left her home. She heard about Jesus who was doing miracles. The Bible says, and she said in her heart, within herself, if I might go and touch on him, I'll be made whole. So the miracle didn't happen that moment. The miracle happened at the moment when she said it to her heart, before she even came. Because that is when her faith was released. Before even she came in the, in, in the, on the crusade, on the crowd, wherever Jesus was. I want to tell that some of you you already have received your miracle by your faith. Wherever you came from, if you made up your mind before even you came, that I'm going to receive my miracle today. You will have it or, and you have already received it. I never forget a, a young girl that got healed who had been crippled on the, on the lake. 
Ndiyebwe mwishicho wa chizre o wabide azinga zinjigo kuguru. And uh, I was still on the listening on expectations before I came. And I heard the girl say, And I heard the girl say, I was studying and I got a problem and I got paralyzed and I lost one of my leg. I even dropped out from school. I have come today to receive my miracle. I was still at home pre praying and preparing to come. I said, Lord, have you heard that girl? I don't know where she has said she has come to receive a miracle. What will happen if she will not get a miracle? Will she ever believe in you again? What about all the people I've heard on the radio saying I've come to receive a miracle? And the Lord said to me when you, when you reach to church, before you preach, call her out. I will heal her. So when I came, I was even forgetting as I sat down, but as I climbed here, the Holy Spirit reminded. I said, where is the girl who said is crippled and cannot walk? And she was seated there. And I said, bring her here. And as they brought her here, prayed for her, the power of God hit her. When she rise down from the ground, she ran from here to there as if she has never had any problem in her life. And these This John was with her, his clutches could not walk. And he was watching, I saw as the miracle happened. I also said John threw also those clutches and, and that's if you remember and John threw them and walked here alone first time and she couldn't walk she said faith is contagious but for that particular woman Girl. Her miracle was wrought even before I reached here. Because the Lord said, when you reach church, call her out. And that's what I did. And the Lord is a promise keeper. He will keep his word. And that girl, when she got healed, you could never think she has ever been crippled. She ran here. And we were all shocked. Praise the Lord. So, your faith, I'm trying to say that your expectation is very important and your faith is very important. If you came from wherever you came, believing God that is going to touch you, the Lord will touch you today. And you'll go back to your miracle. I don't know whatever your need is. Your miracle is coming because the miracle is coming because you are believing. The miracle night had begun and I was at home praying. And I said, Lord, you have been doing so many miracles, but I'm not seeing miracles of people's who people have got deaf ears. And I said, Lord, I'm not seeing miracles of people 
And as I asked, prayed, the Lord says, when you go to church, call no. out everyone who has got problem with the ears and that's what I did when I reached here I said anybody with the ear problem and that day were like 50, 000, 50 people if you remember getting healed others got healed by before even they walked from there to here others as I spoke the word their ears popped wider open if those who remember you know God is just as faithful so I'm trying to say that the faith that is triggered even before you come in the, the service like this one in a miracle service is what will bring or deliver your miracle to you God have no. faith in God yes Jiranga. There is a miracle for you. I'm sure the Lord has triggered me to speak what I have spoken to the hearing of some of you. Something has already happened in your life. I'm, there is something that is already happening and something has already happened. I know some of you might not believe, but as you as we are going on with this service, you're gonna realize what is happening, and by tomorrow and other days you'll continue to see what is happening. No, 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 that's what I said. I said, even as the service is going on, you'll discover that something has already happened in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, give the Lord a powerful clap of praise. Our God is a God of now. He's a God of the present. He is not dead. He is alive. Receive your miracles. Receive your answer. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I say receive your miracle. No matter how hard it looks, no matter how difficult the situation has been, I say it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive your miracle now. I repeat what I say. No matter how hard the situation is, no matter how difficult the condition has been, receive your miracle now in the name of Jesus in any area of your life. Nadranti, the china song and berry moque gomide, the china songa, Okubiko gomide, or Mizina diayesu, Yachira Choktanga, that's our way, Hati, or Mizina diayesu. Listen, put it cheva. This night I come to introduce you a God who makes impossible possible. He opened the road in the middle of the Red Sea. He shall open your Red Sea in the name of Jesus. However terrified you have been, he is a God who does miracles. At 90 years, Sarah conceived. Our God shall give you a miracle in the name of Jesus. I have seen our God specializes in what we call impossible. 
I have observed over time as I walked with the Lord that he has specialized in handling impossible situations. What is impossible with man is possible with God. I don't know whether I'm talking to some people here. Maybe I'm talking to a different caliber of people. Maybe you are not the way I am. I believe to see the glory of God in the land of the living. I said we are serving a God who has specialized to deal with the situations which man cannot handle. Your situation, your circumstance, your condition shall be properly dealt by the Spirit of God who makes impossible possible by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> for, for the children of Israel, they were in the wilderness and it, it was a desert. And they wanted water to drink. And God caused the water to come out of a rock. And he gave them water to drink out of the rock. My what looks like a rock for you become a fountain of your blessing this night. <laughs> when they lacked food in the desert, he rained down manna from heaven. And they ate heavenly food, the food of angels, for 40 years. There is a miracle for provi of provision for somebody in this place. If he did it, listen. Listen, listen, listen. He, he did this for the children of Israel for 40 years. I didn't say 40 days. I said 40 years. They, they did not lack. I said 40 years there was no day that the heavens did not rain down manna. And there was no day that heaven did not give them meat. I declare on that counsel of God, there is a miracle of provision. There shall be a miracle of providence for somebody here. Whatever has troubled you should not trouble your heart. The Lord God Almighty, I can perceive through the Holy Ghost, he is bringing a provision for you as he provided for the children of Israel in Jesus' mighty name. Abana Israeli Okumarenya Kamakunmo Nyana Tibarabu Zguecho Kutga Tibarabu Zguemanu Tibarabu Zguenyama Mgenu Harumonto Hangariona Hereza of Gabirize Chirechi Echibi Rechitegani Zomutima Gwawe Chikatuma Waye Merezomutima Rechera Hope Merezomutima Mukama Rangawa Navisrahiri Na Kugabira Echirecho Muzene Dia Yesu God shall provide. I said the Lord God. His name is Jehovah Jireh. He has taken care of that situation. He has taken care of that condition. You don't need to be anxious. If you believe, shout a big amen. My friend, I believe in miracles. 
I have seen the God of miracles. I have seen God of miracles. Every time I have reached to the end of the world, I saw the faithfulness of the Lord. I encourage your faith. I encourage your faith. If you can only believe this night, provisions shall come. Listen, there is no time in the scriptures when people trusted God and they were disappointed. At the wedding of Khan of Gali, they got stuck. No more drinks. No more wine. But with God, all things are possible. He said, fill 12 pots of water. Huge ones. Huge ones. And they will show you power. And they filled. And he says, go and draw. And behold, it was the best wine. Elijah to the widow of Zerophas. She says, I'm reminding with a little bit of flour and oil to eat it with my son, and then we die. And Elijah said, I stand before you as a prophet of God. First, make for me a cake. And after I have eaten it, I'll bless you. And she believed. And she made a cake for the man of God. Because the Bible says, believe in God, you will be established. Believe also in his prophets and you shall prosper. And after making that meal for the prophet of God, the Bible says there was no more lack ever again into these widows. Life in home. You see, there is living by sight, but there is walking by faith. The Lord God is opening up a substantial door for some people in this room tonight. I don't know whom I'm talking to, but they shall remember this night. When God has begun to open the floodgates of heaven, He will use anything to end your misery. Just believe on the Lord God. I just can't imagine this God we are talking about. And there was another drought in Israel. And, and people had no food and people had no water. 
And God by the Spirit led Elijah to a brook. And he called you to have fresh water every day when other people were dying. And, and God commanded the ravens. You guys, I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. God commanded the ravens to be taking meat. Every evening and to take bread every morning. Elijah was Eli? having a balanced diet when people were starving and dying. Listen to me. I'm, uh, uh, there are things which other people are going to suffer. And your case shall be different as long as the God I came to speak about is alive. I insist again, your case shall be different. Sometimes we are we 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 meet confronting situations with Mama and we strengthen ourselves back in the Lord. We go back and say, no, no, no. Our case is different. And we refuse to, co to accept. We refuse to compromise with what is happening everywhere. I don't care what is happening with other people. But one thing I know, the God whom I have believed, he's a God of miracle. He's a God of faithfulness. He's a promise keeper. He's a covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. Come on. Shout hallelujah. 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 You see, don't move with others or because it is happening with others and you accept. You don't know who their God is. And you don't know how much they are connected to their God. But one thing which I know our God my God shall supply all you are need. According to what? Not on the economy of the government of Uganda. Not according to the level of your education. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Somebody shout Amina. Listen, because another one is going through a difficult situation, when you compare yourself with them, so you, 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 you conclude the matter. Your case is different. Why? Because of the one that you are connected to. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Your story shall be different in Jesus' name. And you continue believing. And you continue proclaiming it. And you continue confessing it. And you shall see the difference. Hallelujah. Can you believe that this night?
that your case is different that your case is different that your story is different and what makes a difference is your connection is your relationship with the Lord Jesus is the word of faith is the prophetic word that is spoken upon your life what makes a difference upon you is the anointing of God that flows upon your life your story is different your case is different in the name of Jesus Christ when people are waiting to write you off because they think now you have come to the end of yourself they will be amazed and surprised about how God will arise in power and in glory over your life your story is different you know when the brothers of Joseph threw him in a pit they had no more any imagination that is going to rise up to ben, that level ben but yet it was through that pit that God was organizing to take him to the palace whatever the enemy has arranged for your downfall the God I came to tell you about he will return it for your good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ they threw him in a pit and God took him in a palace Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight I feel like you must get encouraged in Jesus' name. You must see the God of Abraham, Isaac, and God of Jacob working away for you. Shout a big amina. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. I have beheld the glory of God. And I want to encourage you this day that this same God has not forgotten you. First of all, I want to, the Bible says he has engraved you on the palm of his hand. When you look on your hands, on your palm, there are those lines engraved in. It can never be raised out. So that's what God has done with you in his palm of his hand. You are safe and you are secure. In God. Don't fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that your spirit comes down right now. And the peace of God which surpasses all human understanding. Let it guard your hearts and your minds. In the name of Jesus. One thing which I know. There is nothing impossible with God. What is impossible with man. All is possible.
with God. I want you to believe that God is touching that situation. I want you to believe if you came diseased that another life and power has touched you and that disease is being terminated out of you. I want you to believe that you are not going to die before your time. Because the Lord, the reason that he brought you to hear these words, in the name of Jesus, I cancel every scheme and every plan designed by the enemy on your life. I cancel every plan Can you hear me by the Holy Spirit? In the name of Jesus Christ. I said you are not going to die before your time. Tonight we cancel every designed plan of the enemy on your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord strengthen and empower you powerfully. Give me a clap of praise. Let me gather myself to go back. I came to speak to us. I had started to, I've been teaching on the prophetic, uh, the uh, prophetic uh, deep revelations. And I felt like um, the, the Lord is, was diverting me to empower you on the word of faith. And that word cannot go back empty. Even as I speak to this, even as I go back at what I had prepared to speak about, I want to declare there are miracles which have already happened here. Already there are miracles which happened. You can check yourself. You can try to find out. But I'm sure there's something happened. And in the area of healing, there are healings which have happened. In the area of provision, there are miracles of provisions which have already happened. And some deaths already cancelled. Some deaths already paid. You guys, just help me to believe in the God I came to talk about. Amina. Amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't like when believers don't believe on the God of miracles. All I have known him, that's why I came here to preach about him. He does great things. He does powerful things. He does amazing things. Just believe in him. Believe in him. Some of you will go to the doctors and the doctors will find no sickness. Because Dr. Jesus he has been moving as yeah. we are preaching. Confirming the preaching of his word with the accompanying of saints and wonders and miracles. You discover that Alusa is gone and it's no more. You discover that that homerage is no more. 
You discover that that migraine headache is gone. You discover that the epilepsy is no more. In the power of the name of Jesus Christ. You discover that the paralysis is not there. In the name of Jesus. And you'll discover also that God has gone ahead of you and perfected whatever is concerning your life. In the name of Jesus. You'll discover that that nightmare, that, that, that evil dream, that spirit husband, that spirit wife, is no more visiting your life in Jesus' name. And the Lord has done his work. Amen. Amen. I also like to exhort you, but I also like to ground you at the same time. So just get your pen and notebook and we just go through some uh, te uh, prophetic teaching in Jesus' name. We are talking, we have been, uh, I began to teach on the uh, deeper prophetic revelation. Praise the Lord. Deeper prophetic revelations. And by this understanding, the Lord said to me, Many believers in this season, you go on experience an ascension and a, a grace to ascend you to higher realm in, in, in the knowledge of the prophetic. It's, uh, revelations in the realm of the spirit, in the prophet realm, you're going to see that you are helped by God to perceive, to understand, and to connect from a higher realm than you have been operating from. Whenever God wants you to move, to a level where you, you, your life is marked with incredible signs, wonders, and powerful miracles, God will open a door in the supernatural realm, in the prophetic realm, and you are ushered to that place. When you are carried to that level, you are endued or you are empowered supernaturally. You'll discover that your body has been touched by another supernatural power. Built, edified by the anointing of that grace in that realm. You discover that your wisdom has increased and your faith level has gone up. And God is always calling us to ascend to higher places. In the realm of the spirit. We are looking quickly at Revelations chapter 4 verse 1. God is always calling us. Is called, is, he wants each one of us to have a higher experience with him. After this I looked and there before me was a door standing open in heaven and the voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. Come up here. So there's a higher dimension. That God is saying to, to John the Revelator, Arise, come up here. There is a level where you have not 
come to and says, come up here. Because At a lower dimension, there are, there are experiences you will never know in God. There are things that will never be revealed to you. That there are things that you cannot access. And many Christians are held up at certain lower levels. I pray even in this miracle night. A door into the heaven shall be opened to you. And God will give you access to the things you have not seen before. And you will begin to hear the voice of God calling you to go yonder, calling you to, to increase in the grace, to increase Hallelujah. in the knowledge of him, to increase in faith, to increase in the anointing, to increase in revelation knowledge of God's mysteries. By the way, God is looking for people who are not contented and who are not satisfied at certain levels where they are. Even if you have seen some miracles, but there are levels in the supernatural realm which have been prepared for us to enjoy, to walk in them. And it's God's will that you don't operate at a lower level, lower plane, but you come to that place where God will give you extraordinary capacities and abilities. Quickly run with me Second Corinthians chapter 12 uh, from verse 2. We see here another man that experienced an upward uh, progression in his spiritual life. Amen. Amen. And this is no other but the Apostle Paul. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knows such a one was caught up to the third heaven. So what does that tell you? A man that is already exposed to the third heaven, that means there's a first heaven, second heaven, and third heaven. And you need to challenge yourself, where are you? At the first heaven, at the second heaven, or the third dimension, which is the third heaven? Heaven, by the way, in this context, is a, is, is a dwelling place of God. Heaven is a dwelling place, a place where God abides. So we see dimensions in, that, in, that, in those levels or in those realms. So in this third heaven, Paul is saying, he knows of such a man, he's talking about himself, who was caught up on the third level of heaven. <laughs> I pray tonight there will be a shift there will be a movement there will be a transition that if you were at the first heaven by the grace of God God might take you through the second heaven and bring you even to the third heaven experience with God but one thing that I know you cannot touch that level of the third heaven and you pray same prayers you used to pray. And you continue to become what you have been. And you continue to do things the same way you were doing. This level here will bring a turning point, a radical shift 
in your life an experience that will cause a major breakthrough in your life forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that you will ascend today. By the grace of our Lord God. Let's go to the next verse. So it's taken to the third heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I knew such a man within the border out of I cannot tell God. Now let's go to the continue to the next verse, please. We read on. How that he was caught up into paradise. Now this paradise again. It's a heavenly place. It's a heavenly place. It said it means a dwelling place of God. It also means heaven or paradise. It's a dwelling place, a place where God dwells. And when you begin to have this understanding, you discover that, you know, we, we, we don't have a geographical paradise like I was teaching about in the book of Genesis when, you know, God created Adam and Eve and he placed them in the paradise. So it's not a physical sphere. It's a heavenly atmosphere. It's a heavenly environment. Are you with me? Uh, when people, Christians, read about the paradise, they think it was a, a certain geographical location on the earth. No, it, is, it, is a, it, it was just a, an atmosphere, a sphere, a realm where God put Adam and Eve. It's a heavenly realm. And I heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for a man to utter. Go to the next verse. So when he was taken to that realm, he heard words. In next, you, you, in next prayer words, words that are, 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 are too powerful that they go beyond the natural words of the languages which we know. It was, the, the, he was not permitted to, exp, uh, to speak even those those words because they would be beyond the human comprehension and the human mind. And for him, he understood, but other people, they would never understand them. It would take a certain level for them to gain understanding of those mysteries which he, which he perceived. You can imagine a man speaking from the third heaven to the people in the first heaven. It's like when you speak very complicated language to a baby. So he, he wasn't permitted to utter this thing. They are too deep. For the ordinary mind to perceive. But for him, these words are having an incredible influence upon him. The anointing in the third heaven is going to cause a greater influence on his life. And even many of you tonight, I can tell you as the Lord opens up something for you tonight, he is going to really leave a certain impact on your life. And he says, of such a man I will glory, yet of myself I will not glory but in, in my infirmities. And go to the next verse. 
For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he sees me to be, or that he hears of me. Kuna kwenda kwe imbisa, tinkava mushima. Akubanka maningamba mazima, konkati, tinka kora, tinka chikora ngwa ata jerumuntu wena, o wante kate kaho, okchira ebi arikunde vamu, nebi arikumpurira. Why the apostle Paul could not be freely uh, talking about the things he did not want people to take him in a place of a God and exalt him beyond measure more than of who he was. Praise God. But Paul's life was greatly impacted and inspired when he touched in that dimension. Let's see verse 7. Unless I should be exalted above measure through abundance of the revelation that was given unto me, a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Here we also realize that uh, in that dimension the apostle Paul received abundance of the revelations, deep spiritual revelation that gave him enlightenment and understanding of the Holy Scriptures and the mysteries. You see, your spirit, your human spirit, created in the image and the likeness of God has capacities and has potential that is beyond human limitations. And there is too much that can come out of you if your spirit connect with the hidden secrets and the mysteries of God. What you'll begin to know and what you'll begin to do will increase and improve your capabilities. It's my prayer after this miracle night that you break the average level. That God will give you capacity in your inner man to comprehend and to do and to see what others cannot know and what others cannot do. I pray that you simply go beyond just being an ordinary believer. But your spirit man shall be greatly energized and stand up to perceive and to comprehend what others cannot and that's what will give you capacity to do things that other people cannot do I pray that every day God's going to show you opportunities that others cannot see that every day God is going to give you ability to turn in what was not working to work for you in Jesus name you see when he received this abundance of revelations it turned the apostle's life and it turned his ministry and it turned everything around him and I want to declare tonight that this grace of God as you tap into a higher level into a deeper dimension will impart you with abundance of supernatural revelations that will usher your life and ministry to another level of success and breakthrough.
I know that there is more in you that needs to come up. But unless your spirit is able to connect to the spirit of God from a higher dimension, you remind Cano, you remain natural, you remain limited, but there is a dimension where you shall break limits and be ushered into a dimension of greatness in the knowledge of God. You know, I kept telling you, I've had me say 2011. Eighth of April in Montreal, Mexico, turned my life around. It changed my life. I was the same man that went to Montreal. I came back in this country, a changed man. I declared a new day for me. My message never to be the same. My mention never to be the same. It never again was the same. Something happened and I knew there is an open heaven. There is a spirit of revelation that I tapped, that I connected, that changed my life and changed my perspective. Everything has never been the same until this day. Nkavandi wamo ntomo wa jenzire niza Mexico, kongo mkugar kanka garu kampindu chile, ruhanga mpindu ilo muska, kuna garu chile na ajiranchi, nengomu ntomuska, kandi na atande kananizi wa wariska, ahavo kubanka vuga vuga na yu, oku kwa tono kuhindugwa, oku ande tire na hindu gomu ntomuska, kandi na chumanya, tibu kama yambu kambu gana. You don't need ten years for your life to change. Toku ite ngenyaki kumiyona kujirangwa magaraga uga hinduki. One single encounter with the Holy Ghost experience, will totally usher you, open your mind like a man who slept. I remember when I came back, I said, I was like a man who slept, and behold, I woke up in a new day. And today, I knew my preaching never would be the same. My connections, my understanding, my boldness, my faith, my comprehension to deep things of the spirit has never been the same. This is a stand in the same grace to teach these things to you. It, it, it impacted my life. I said, God encountered me by the spirit of revelation. It changed my life. If you touch this abundance of revelations, it will touch it and change your life forever. Waiza kuata abijira na vugoku shuruguwa na vuhinduri ratimuwa magaraga awe. Tokuwe tenge nyaki kume kujira nguo hindugwe. Ni obgire vungi 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 kukuka na namukama. Okabanko wa agamire hazo kahinduka. Okasimuka. Okashangariki zova risika. Nkabanko muto wa agamire nkimuka nkashangariki zova risika. You see, at least I should be, I should not be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelation that he tapped into. So the man experienced deeper revelations that ushered his life and ministry, empowered him with the power of God to do greater exploits that today we can read the Bible with amazement about what God accomplished through an ordinary person. Kandi ngunde chekwe imbisa abokushururi kwa kwenji. Ogomu shija, akatungo kushururi kwa kwenji mnonga. Okwa ale tire na magaragenu buhereza buge buga hinduka. Ya handi, koja handi chukwa mbiburi. Edgori kushomeli zoba ni wakarebo kamuta angarira. Acts chapter 28. Let's read Acts chapter 28. And this is a story of Apostle Paul. After some of these encounters like we have said, after his greater revelations and anointing that came on his life. You see, the level of anointing when you tap into a higher dimension will increase the glory of God on your life, will increase the faith of God, the wisdom of God, the understanding of God will increase. Now the Bible says, and when they were escaped, then they knew that the island was called Melta. Go to another verse. <laughs> And the barbarous people showed us no little kindness for they kindled the fire and received us everyone because of the present rain and because of the cold. Go to the next verse. 
And when Paul had the come on. And when Paul had gathered a band of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a vapor out of the heat and fastened on his hands. Just keep moving kindly. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, no doubt this man is a murderer whom though he has escaped to see yet vengeance suffers not to live. So he shook off the beast into the fire and he felt no harm at all. How bad they looked when he should have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly. But after they had looked a great well and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said he was a god. Hallelujah. Kutoa hili zokuchira, tuabu na kumanyangu, echo chigwe 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 tuwa. Nzagwa za achu za atujirire mbabazi, ezita chigwa mwontu vona, akubazi katuhe mbe romuriro, za atuachi, za atuachira, fena, ahabgenjura, e ya avide negwa, kandi hariho, nembeho. Pahuro kuya atire, omugamba gwengu, ya zita omumuriro, ahonaho, ahabgechi babu, chomuriro. Haruga mwe mpiri, erimu, emuri ahamukono, nereleta. Abaza, abaza kwa mecho chikwa, kuma arevirejo mpiri, emge zinjiri raha mukono, baga ambira nabati. Buzi mazi mwa mwontogu, no mngisi. Novu arabe ya achire nyanja, no ruhanga, otasi njisiri za tayenzine ngu agumeho. Kwa mwa pahuro, ya kumkumurirejo mpiri, Omuriro ya ya jina gumuriro abashisha vate kate kangu na buzima zima na ija kuzima na rishi agweho afereho kwanza kuwa amazire omani ya mhango bate jerize bara bati ne kabi akamuvaho ya ba hinduka bate kate kwa jirango ni ruhanga. Praise God. Ruhanga sim. I told you from the beginning what. Others are suffering. You are not going to suffer them. What is going to kill others, it shall not kill you. Now you might be scared because your neighbor, they did a bewitchment of witchcraft and a person died or might be suffered. I want to declare to you that as for you, it shall do you no harm. Obundo ti nire mutahi wa ubakamuro gaya guara ninga ya fa ni wote ni yangu ni chote chira kubeho ni jakura angirira ndiwe chira kubeho. Now, just not because I said it, that, but because your life is turned into a dimension that is above natural abilities, a life that cannot easily be harmed by things at a certain lower level. Now what made the difference between the Apostle Paul and ordinary people is that the man had tapped into a higher dimension in the spiritual realm. And now when he comes to this island and it's cold and they make fire, a viper jumps out and bites his hand and coils around his hand. And now everybody is waiting to see the Apostle Paul f swelling by the, the poison, the venom of the, of, of the creature that hung on his hand, and, and then they wait him to die. But the man simply shook it away and continued preaching and continued to be normal. Nothing is wrong. No effect of of poison. Most of you know how poisonous the snakes can be. For Paul, there was no any effect came into his blood. 
Oh, Shatabula. It seems to me the blood is not an ordinary blood. It seems to me there is another blood, praise God, of a new creation Hallelujah. that is flowing in his veins. The blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that has life, the blood that cannot be affected, the blood that cannot be poisoned, the blood that cannot suffer venom, the blood that is the blood of God that is flowing in this vine. I pray in the name of Jesus by the supernatural mystery by the supernatural revelation, God will infuse you this life. God will infuse you this power. God will infuse you the blood of Jesus in your blood. That what can affect others, it shall not affect you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And Come my... on, hallelujah! 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 hallelujah. Listen to me. They looked at the man and waited his body to swell. And Christians, we need to move to that level. We need to come to that dimension. The others that they are dying of AIDS for you, AIDS comes in your body and it dies. Kapun. I pray that God rises up to that place. That God will bear a testimony with us. And the people of the earth shall behold the testimony of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I can tell you, most of you I can see here, you survived the COVID and even another coming that whatever the devil might try to bring, you will survive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the life that is in you is a life that cannot die. I said the life of Jesus in you is a life that won't die. It's a life that shall never die. May you be in a change by this understanding in Jesus' mighty name. Kandi ni mbaga ambira, vinjo mudiaha, okahona corona, na ngwa wahona nevi nevi stani ya vire kutejire, na hati ni mkushawira, chone chira ije, na chono ija kuchohona, ahakuma magalaga akuli sto mreiwe, tigari kubasa kutega ni suba corona, tigari kubasa kutega ni suba vrogo, tigari kubasa kutega ni sego, evi kutega ni sabandi. And I declare to you by the word of God in the name of Jesus. Ni kurangiri la mechi gamba charango mzirega. Whether they sent you witchcraft, or whatever devils, whatever family spirits, I stand to declare under the same supernatural authority of God, no evil shall touch you. No calamity will come in your dwelling place and no devil will harm you in the name of Jesus. For greater is he that is in you than the devil which is in the world. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tera karika hallelujah. Oba wa kuhereza mahembe, oba wa kuhereza chifaru, oba wa kuhereza mamba, oba wa kuhereza vizimu, oba wa kuhereza obrogo. Tihari ya chini kukwata ho, ahabo kubodya muriwe, no amani, okutira stani, etia monseji. Hallelujah! 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 It shall not harm you. The Bible told me and there was no harm on the life of the Apostle Paul. No harm at all. He only shook the hand and the creature fell in fire and it died. What has been designed to kill you? Am I talking to somebody here? Whatever was programmed to destroy your life, it shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus and it shall not destroy you. Maradosa. Come on. Listen to me. Ah! Hey. Whatever has been programmed, whatever has been sent on your life to bring you down, to affect you by the power of God in you, by the spirit of God resident in you, by the grace of God upon your life, by the riches 
of his word on you. By the fullness of Christ's life in you. Whatever has been designed against you. It shall be destroyed by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be destroyed by the fire of God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And he shook the hand. And it fell in fire. And he was burned to ashes. Remember it had come to kill Paul. But it now dies. And Paul remains preaching. And serving his purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen in the name of Jesus. Under the prophetic anointing. In agreement with the Holy Spirit. Whatever has been worked against you. In the name of Jesus. I command to harm where it has come from. In Jesus is the name. Jesus is the name. I said in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It shall not harm you. It shall not harm your loved ones. It shall not harm your children. It shall not harm your ministry. It shall not harm your business. It shall not harm your family. In the name of Jesus. It shall not harm your husband. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Listen by the power in the name of Jesus. I disengage you, I disconnect from you, I shake off your life, everything that coming from the enemy to affect your life, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release life in you, from the crown of your head, to the sole of your feet, in the name of Jesus, the same spirit, that defended the apostle Paul the spirit of God the spirit of Christ who was in the apostle Paul he the same spirit that I impart on your life now that I release upon you today in the name of Jesus Christ nothing shall harm you in the name of Jesus Christ as a matter of fact if you are here, you have been bewitched. And you have been oppressed. And you have been tormented. I announce your total deliverance. I free you in the power of a name above all other names. Receive your freedom right now. Receive your total deliverance. I said now in the name of Jesus. I announce you free. Out of that curse and bondage. It is done. I said it is done. I said it's done. In Jesus name. You are delivered. You are freed. You are set totally free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They expected the man to die. And he, he did not die. Praise God. And now they concluded. And uh, uh, now we know. He's not an ordinary man. This one is a God. This one is a God. We've never seen it in such a, a fashion. The hour is coming. People that have been celebrating, they think they have done with you. They are about to see a dimension of promotion a dimension of growth a dimension of promotion on your life from the level where you have been to another level the same people listen the same people that called him a murderer 
This man is sure a murderer. The judgment of God has come upon him. Don't you see this is a judgment of God? He thought he, he thought he will escape the, the, the storms the, in the, on, on, on the sea. But now, you see, now it has come upon him. He's going to die. You know, some people celebrate in your problems. Today, I declare. God to turn your problem into an opportunity. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will turn your trouble into an opportunity. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! They waited for some 10 minutes. No swelling of the body. They waited for another 20 minutes. The body did not swell. They waited for certain minutes. The body did not swell. They waited for 40 minutes. The body did not swell. And the man continued to increase in the anointing. Hallelujah! Uh, even if I am the one no, we are Even if I'm the one preaching, no, we are hallelujah. hallelujah! I shift to another level. Hey. Hallelujah. hallelujah! Now that even the viper has died, and the venom is not working on me, no, I will stop great as he that is in me. And the devil which is in the world. Hallelujah! hallelujah. Oh, shut up, hey. Baba Shem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The man preached more. He declared more. The blind eyes open. The deaf has got and scored. Paralysis left out. The home range is seized. People said, ah, this is a general. This is not ordinary. We thought he was going to die. We thought we had finished him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you can see the man is more powerful. Every body in this place, I pronounce in the name of Jesus, God to turn your trouble into opportunity. In the name of Jesus, God to turn every curse into a blessing. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, whatever was meant for evil, on you. Let God work out and turn it around for your good in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to celebrate whatever you have been looking at, crying, complaining, and struggling. God is turning it now. Whatever. Chona. 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 It's very quick and it's a. Chona is very quick and it's a. Whatever the minute you are putting in. God is turning the condition around. God is turning the condition around. It's a music of stani. I will not take any so quita. Oku kwara kubi. Muka mario. Nach kozesa. Oku kwemo sa. Muka manachi hindura. Oku kwara ebrunjo makarakawi. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Shatele rebosha. Listen, listen. Whatever you are going through under this anointing, there is a power working. There is a supreme power. There is a supernatural power. There is a divine power. There is a God power. There is a super power. There is a Holy Ghost power that is turning around your circumstance. That is turning around your situation. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. I have a sin from Kabul. If I were you. I would shout and declare I shall not die I shall live to declare the goodness of God I shall not die but I shall live to declare the glory of God Hallelujah 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 Oh Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Even Joseph said what to his brothers what you intended for evil God meant it for my good. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! 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 Oh, c'est Oh, yes! Ego! Oh, yes! Ego! Hallelujah! 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 An elevation is happening. The hand of God is here right now. The finger of God is upon you right now. The power of God is upon you right now. To turn your misery to laughter. The Bible said, even though you are on night has started long, Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. God shall turn your sorrow to laughter. He will turn your sorrow to laughter. Amina, you have been weeping. You have been crying. I come to declare by the spirit of prophecy. The Lord God is turning your tears into laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come to declare you have been groaning. God is turning your groaning to rest. He's turning your testing into a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever the devil planned for your downfall, God is using it for your promotion. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, the same men the same man who said, Paul, you are a murderer. Now they are saying you are God and they want even to worship him. God shall turn your shame into double honor. I said the God of heaven the God of heaven the God of heaven the God of heaven of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob he will turn your shame into double honor in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah what was meant to embarrass you God is trying to, to turn it around to glorify you. Hallelujah. 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 What was meant to embarrass you? God is turning it to glorify you. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hey. Glory to God. I have got to this, Glory to God. Mukama, I have got to this, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bosalaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, you are mighty. 
God, you are powerful. God, you are glorious. There is none like you on earth and in heaven. God, you are mighty. You change circumstances. You turn around our situations. You transform our lives. You open closed doors. You raise the poor from the ashes. And you sit them with the kings and with princes. You are mighty, O God. You are glorious, O Father. There is none like you. You are worth of all praise. You do mighty miracles. You forgive us all our sins. You heal all our diseases. And you redeem us from all destruction. And you fill our mouth with laughter. You are the God we serve. You are the God we know. You are the God we proclaim. You are the God we preach. You are the God we honor. You are the God we worship. You are the God we declare. We praise your name. We glorify your holy name. My God. My God. My God. I declare on you the supernatural power of God to turn your curses into blessings. In the name of Jesus. I terminate every assignment that was assigned against your life. In the name of Jesus. I cut you off from anything that has been assigned to affect your life. I cut you off from sickness. I cut you off from diseases. In the name of Jesus. I cut you off from the effect of witchcraft and sorcery. I cut you off from lack and scarcity and poverty. I cut you off from torture and torment of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare a powerful anointing of God on your life. And I impart a prophetic anointing over you. In the name of Jesus, that the Lord will lift you from ordinary dimension into deeper prophetic levels where you will hear things inexpressible, where you will see things that are beyond your own control and limitation in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Thank you, Jesus. A miracle is happening on you. A miracle is happening right now. There is a connection between you and the prophetic dimension right now. And this connection that is happening. Freedom is coming upon you. Deliverance is coming upon you. Healing is coming upon you. Joy is coming upon you. Peace is coming upon you. Bring that lady here. Shatelebosha. It is your day, it is your day, it's your day. It is your day in the name of Jesus. Give me the anointing oil.
In the name of Jesus Christ. It is your day. It is your day. It is your day. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. The hand of God is upon you. The spirit of might and power is upon you. Today, fire from heaven sets you free, delivers you completely, and makes you whole in the name of Jesus from the crown of your head. Rise up. Jesus. Jesus. I have a covenant with you. I'll not see your people suffer oppression. Because you sent me in your name. I set this woman completely free. I set you free from the head from the head from your head to the sole of your feet every yoke is broken every chain is broken every fetter is broken and you receive completeness and wholeness and wellness in Jesus name oh oh Give me Acts 19 verse 12. In the name of Jesus. Come here. I release the anointing of prosperity. The covenant of prosperity is over your life. As you go back, you do what you tried and it didn't work out. The power of God is upon you powerfully and mightily in the name of Jesus Christ to the glory of God. To the glory of Jesus. Oh my God. Listen. Anyone here you have been under the grip of witchcraft of any sort of any level everyone here that was under the power of witchcraft everyone in this place you have operated under a spell you are operated under torture and torment they bewitched you and you have been suffering everyone it doesn't matter whether they bewitch you from the waters you have suffered marine spirits whether they bewitch you in the hills on the mountain whether they bewitch you using any, any, any animal sacrifice I sense in my spirit this day the Lord gives me a mandate to break every witchcraft to power today anyone listen anyone in this place that you are under spell of witchcraft the Lord mandates me at the sound of my voice to announce your freedom and your total deliverance I take dominion on any power of witchcraft I totally destroy it off your life even somebody you are listening to me on the airwaves of hope radio you are been under the spell of witchcraft and sorcery. You have been tormented and oppressed by witchcraft. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare you a total deliverance. And those of you who are here, every one of you, every one of you, under any 
curse of witchcraft. Today I cut you off from it. I deliver you from it. I liberate you by the power and authority in the name of Jesus under this anointing. I listen. I feel the wrath and the anger of the Holy Ghost against anything called witchcraft or sorcery. Everyone under the yoke of witchcraft, everyone under the bondage of sorcery, whatever it is, wherever it is, I deliver you now. I set you free now. I liberate you now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Something is breaking completely. Oh, yes. Listen. If there has been a tormenting spirit in you, harassing you, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, that spirit is destroyed. That curse is broken. That yoke is destroyed. Devils are flying and leaving this place. Why you came here tonight? I will not let you go back in that suffering. By the apostolic and prophet grace of God. I declare complete and total freedom upon your life. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yokes are breaking. Chains are falling off. It does not matter how long it has been. The Bring that woman, I break that yoke completely of her life. Bring that one also, yeah. That, that, that devil is under the fire. The that spirit is attacked by the fire of God. Power the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Let them experience your fire of deliverance. Left, right, the devils are under judgment. They can't stand this fire tonight. Give me this oil. Father, in the name of Jesus, because you sent me, I set your people free. Cow, I lose you from that yoke. Completely from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Ego. Shetelebo, shelelebo, shele. Yali bo si kapalale. Mande yele si labula. Ma yele si yele bo setelebo. Oh, yele lele sele. Mande le kula sele. Somebody you've been having. Tumors in your stomach and you have been 
having pains. The Lord is healing you right now totally and completely in Jesus' name. The Lord is setting you free. The Lord is setting you free. Bring that lead on the wall. In the name of Jesus, you demon in that woman, I judge you before. Even you reach here. How dare you come in her? How dare you come upon her life? I judge you now. I judge you now. By fire. No more. And the judgment of God. Wait, 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 wait. don't. You are now free. Come here, come here. Okay, keep be silent. Be silent. Okay, open your eyes and see me, lady. Okay, it is done. Jesus yes. has had mercy on you. He has set you free completely. You will never suffer again. The blood is shed on the cross for the remission of your sins is also the blood of your redemption. Yes, it's, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Go and enjoy your life. The next miracle night, we shall have your testimony here. Ah, bring that one here too. Every satanic yoke, I pronounce. And oh, this woman is broken. Devil, I am not sent to negotiate with you. I command you get out of this woman. Out quickly. Now. Now. Go. Gender. Out. 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 out, out. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Zuba, zuba. One, two, three. You are not permitted to be in her life. In Jesus' name. She is now free. Woman. Thou art loose. You are loosed now. You are free. Jesus has set you free. Yes, you are Yes. Give him a clap of hands. Give him a better clap of hands. Father, 
She's a daughter of Abraham. Let her go and enjoy life. Let her go and be free like other women. Let her go and prosper. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. Young boy, can I pray for you? Come here. Just come. Is he okay? Okay, I'm going to pray for you. Father, I ask your spirit to enter in this young boy as your spirit entered in Samuel and he became a prophet. Let your spirit enter in this boy. I pronounce brightness, success, and prosperity in his future. In Jesus' name. Can be well. There are three people here. You have been praying God to use you and sometimes you desire to plant churches. It might not be now, but ahead of your life, you hear it very well. And you know that you're going to plant a church or churches. I want you to come here. And I want to say this. Anyone at the sound of my voice, the churches that you will start they shall be powerful as a saying that God has commissioned you today. You shall prevail against forces of opposition I am not calling to pray for people who are sick. I'm praying for people that God is clearly speaking about a ministry, planting a church. I see some of those churches that are going to be planted growing powerfully by the apostolic commissioning. I see people getting healed in some of those places. Miracles of all kinds happening. I see churches growing larger in larger numbers. There is a cloud of righteousness rising over those congregations. It is going to be powerful. It's going to be great. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, because of the revelation of your word, I impart capacity and grace on that man. In Jesus' name. By the revelation of your word, I transmit power and anointing in Jesus' name. 
God Almighty by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release higher voltage apostolic power and anointing of God in Jesus' name. I release transmission of the anointing. Ah. Power of God in his life. I impart grace to go and establish the work of God without fear in Jesus' name. My God, because of your word, I release the supernatural power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, on this revelation, I release power, potential capacity to establish, build, and plant. In the name of Jesus, grace to abound, break out in his life. In Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Oh, in the city, the boss, and did it. Send it, it was she did it, it was. Spirit of God, let saints and wonders of money so accompany this man's ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Holy Ghost. Saints, holy name. I impart the virtues of God, wisdom, faith, knowledge, and the gifts of the Holy Ghost in our life to do. Come again, bring again, bring again. Father, Tata. infuse in her Tata. resurrection life explosion power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Father we thank you impartation of the spirit be upon our life in Jesus name Amen Lord will you deliver this man and after you have delivered him Turn his life as a testimony. For nothing is impossible with you. What is impossible with man? All is possible with you, Lord. I impart supernatural grace for complete and total deliverance. Curses, witchcraft, I break them all. What the enemy intended for evil. In this man, turn it to work for his good. In Jesus' name, go and be free. Father, we thank you. I decree and I declare the answer of God in his life. I release the prophetic and apostolic anointing. Power of the Holy Ghost. Gifts of the Holy Ghost. Let the gifts of God enter in his life. Let him be strong. To work great. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We declare impartation of grace. Equip him. Empower him. Edify him. And use him for your glory. Use him for your glory. Equip him. Empower him. Edify him. Edify him. Edify him. Edify him, Lord. Edify him, Jesus. From this moment in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. We release the grace, we transmit power and anointing, we impart the virtues of God, grace of God, in Jesus' name. Father, I release him to go in the apostolic and do this work. 
I see a strong apostolic anointing on your life. I see you pioneering, doing things by the grace of God. I see an anointing of reform. Power coming upon you in Jesus' name. Go and do the works of God. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you and I give you praise. I release a stronger grace and a stronger apostolic anointing of this young man for ministration, for service of your kingdom. Power, go and serve God in Jesus' name. I release grace in Jesus' name. Free her and use her in Jesus' name. Lord, I declare liberty, freedom in the spirit in the name of Jesus. And once it's, she's healed, delivered, use her for your honor and for your glory in Jesus' name. Father, I set her free from curses, from witchcraft, and from sorcery. And after you have delivered her, Lord, raise her up and use her in Jesus' name. Go and be free. So, Father, we thank and we decree and declaration of peace in Jesus' name. Go and do the will of God. Father, we thank you. We declare impartation of grace and faith and power on this woman. In Jesus' name, power the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. You can use anything, Lord, use her. Power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Impart grace and supernatural ability in our life to work great and power in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We decree the declaration of power and ability and grace in Jesus' name. I impart the grace of God. Father, we thank you. Transform her life, elevate her, and use her powerfully for your glory and for your kingdom and for the gospel of Jesus. We decree the declaration of God's power in faith in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Uh, no, I, I was not come on you be when I'm not praying for deliverance keep people we are praying for people for the ministration there is a time for everything and we must I be sure Praise the Lord. We thank God for what is happening. Give Jesus a clap of praise. I have to end here. We have another man of God, an apostle who traveled all the way. Apostle Willie, praise the Lord. Will you welcome Apostle Willie from Haima? He's in the house. The man of God traveled all the way to come and bless your life. He is our friend in this church and we love him so much. And God uses him as a man of truth, as a man of God. And I will be very glad for him to come and bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, before he comes on the stage, I want us to bring our tithes and bring our offering in the name of Jesus. Get the envelope, ushers must be passing the envelopes around. In the name of Jesus.
Glory to God. Walk in the grace that has come upon you this day. Ashes, can you be faster than you are doing it? Why do we have only two ushers? So we want to stand up on our feet, get your tithes, get your friend. If you made a pledge for the machine and you brought it, you made a pledge for the floor and you brought it, you made a pledge, any pledge that you made, don't simply throw it here because the accounts need to take care of what you pledged for. If you're here and you pledged for either the sound system or what please you can just bring that you, you can just come here and we 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 know you and take the accounts will take care of that if it's not just an ordinary tithing you pledged for the floor you pledged for the sound system <laughs> Okay, can everybody stand up on our feet so that we honor God? We have... We have a wedding that will be taking place in the hours ahead of us. And so we, it's going to be a very great day today. In Jesus' name. And on uh, Sunday, we're going to again be with the man of God, the Apostle Willie. And we encourage you not to miss Sunday. God has been doing marvelous things in our services. And God bless your life.